There we go. Sorry, I just need to open up the folder to get to the to see the file. But yeah. So it's been a busy week, in part because of this game. And it still is busy because of this game. Uh but I figured, you know, why not why not do this, the the recording for the Saturday streams in it? It's Immortals Phoenix Rising. Although I do kinda wanna call it Phoenix, but anyway. Uh, the key was provided by Ubisoft. I have finished the playthrough for the review. I have just not finished writing up the review yet, though by the time this goes live, hope this video goes live, hopefully the I will have that writing done. Um, but yeah, so I figure, you know what, why not? Especially since it gives you a new game plus as an option. So I have completed it, and this is all the gear I have, and yeah, I can, t I can talk a little bit about this. Um... I, I have a lot. I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, I'm just... Mainly, the thing I'd like to talk about first, considering this New Game Plus, is basically when you... There is more stuff than you need, more of th these materials, than you need to get everything to its maximum, and then there are Masteries past that. So I've got seven Masteries to the Stamina, so Stamina usage is 7% more efficient. You start with just four of the, the blocks there, I've unlocked all of them, so I've got three of the entire bars. But, uh, yeah, literally everything, though, has masteries like that, so the new game pluses are not useless. Um, but, yeah. Now, th this is after you get the initial, um, explanation of what the hell's going on, which, basically, this is Phoenix. Um, she, she got, uh, caught in a storm on that ship. Uh, that crashed here on the Golden Isles, and there's some other stuff going on, but I think we will see that going forward. She can climb, and also literally everything drains stem. It's not too bad once you've got a lot, um, but yeah, it is definitely a thing. So this is the other issue, besides just the whole shipwreck here. Uh, she, to her knowledge, is the only human not turn to stone. So that that will be one of the one of the goals that you have. Others would be uh well Typhon is is the bad guy here and he's kind of uh defeated a number of the Olympians, actually making some well stripping some of them of their essences. You're gonna be helping with that. That's not gonna be happening in this video though. I'm hoping it won't be that long. Um just you know break away some of that corruption stuff. Hey, Hermes. How you doing? Um, I want to say this is normally some enemies would spawn in to teach you how to fight. But I, I don't know. It might be different just because of New Game Plus. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just put a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? So, technically the whole of the story would be a framed narrative, which is what it's called. In that, while yes, you're playing here, what is happening elsewhere is Prometheus is telling the, sto the story of what's going on to Zeus. So you will very often have them uh, d talking about it, like Prometheus giving the narration, and sometimes also Zeus doing it, and they will go at each other a little bit because they don't necessarily like each other. Um, okay, see these trees here? In order to upgrade the potions, you need to spend gold and amber, which can be found in trees that are glowing. Why is that not falling? You also get them out of chests and such. Use an enemy. It doesn't always look like that. That's just... It, it's kind of scaled to me, so it's purple. And that is how enemy... That is what happens to enemies. I'm definitely going to mention that in, in the video review. The whole... They just, you know, fly off like a balloon that, that's been released. Alright, let me actually check the map here. So we got all this stuff. That mission here, this one here, which is a bonus mission that I might have that be... I think I had that because the key provided by Ubisoft did include the season pass. 
Um, is that phosphor is the bird, by the way. Um, so that's part of it. No, actually, let me check. Okay, I do not have any of the quest items because some of the stuff you end up having and it not going away. Um. Oh, yeah. Quickly. And I know that there is other stuff to talk about for this week, but it's, you know, since I'm in the game, I can focus on that for now. Oh, and I guess I should also say, have I enjoyed it? Yes. I have enjoyed it. Um. I should save most of this for a bit of review. Um. But, I mean, I guess I, I, I guess I can say this. It, ha it has failed to impress me. But it is still a fun game. It's just, I guess, in part coming off of, well, Prometheus likes to do this when he approaches. Little he profits, but through the dark night, he continually tricks. That's nice. Who wrote that? My favorite poet, who just happens to not have been born yet. I think in part it's because, you know, coming from the Sesame of Valhalla, where it's like the population, of, which fortunately that review is like, the way the map is populated is so good that really, really did impress me. So coming off of that to this, there's nothing there that really, there's nothing in this game that really impresses me in that way. It still is a fun game, it still is a good game. So I can recommend it, but it's like, you know, it's an open world action adventure game that, that is set in Greek mythology and is fun. It's fun, do, do not. Don't doubt me on that, um, but it's, you know, it, it, it's not a you gotta play this one kind of thing. Though I will, and I, I will try to make sure I also put it into the written review well. I do hope, because this is a new IP for Ubisoft, I do hope that they continue. That that, that there is, in, I feel there is enough here to build on and, and make some, some new and interesting experience. This one to quickly just... Because, what is this? You will find smaller liars, and they will play a tune, so, like... And then you would come here and... You know, do that to play it here, and if you got it right, then... Once you do that, it'll play it back, and one of these things will become a portal that you reach into and pull out a coin of Charon, which is how you upgrade your skill. And, yes, those two... You, that there are masteries there as well. Most of the upgrades are, um... You have to go to the Hall of the Gods, because that has everything you need for uh, the upgrade. And by the way, so this new game plus, the game does have a point of no return in it. It does make a save for you, so I could have loaded up that as well with... I very literally cleared the map of all but two chests, because I couldn't figure out how to open them and one vault, which are, they're like single level dungeons, you know, they're special um, challenges, and there's just, they generally will have, you know, just, you complete it, you get Zeus's lightning, which is how you upgrade your stamina. It smells like honey, and the first day of spring, and my first kiss, all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please! She can't use it anyway. Yet. Uh, the bet between Zeus and Prometheus is that if Phoenix can defeat Typhon, then Zeus has to release Prometheus from being chained to the mountain with the eagle eating his liver out of it. Which is the actual mythology, in case you're wondering. Not him being released, but that, that he's chained like that. Um... So, in addition to getting, like, the Zeus's lightning out of the vaults, you also, um, will fairly often be able to find another chest there, and there's this one vault where it's just, it, it was very much a pain to even finish it. So I kind of abandoned it. I, I, I could use much harsher language because it really, really frustrated me. Um, uh, but that is uncompleted because it, it didn't get the other, uh, the other chest, but... Otherwise, I have literally cleared the map of everything I am aware of. Why does that matter? This this is the explanation. That's why I stopped. No, sort of the explanation. It'll make sense.
so that that is how you clear the fog of war on the maps as you climb to the top of the various statues so Hermes is here uh, that's Aphrodite that's Ares that's uh, Hephaestus that's Athena there's also an eagle one there and it's hard to, to really spot it but there is right here which I don't even know if the curse has been captured but like above the as we're facing at the left eye, so it would actually be the right eye of that, which is a, the face of Typhon. Uh, you get there, and you will be able to do that scout that reveals the that removes the fog. But notice, th there's nothing else marked here. Yes, we have the the big liar, which, by the way, that has fast travel. The uh, statues have fast travel. Some of the special locations, like this, is an observatory up here, in the center of the map. That or, um that you can fast travel to. Also, all the vaults you can fast travel to. You can fast travel to a lot of stuff. Um, but this is how you would actually reveal things, is you use Farsight, it's called, you look around and there, you just try to focus it. So that's what one of the vaults looks like. So it is possible that I have missed some. Just because, you know, like I didn't aim properly. Now, fortunately, some stuff, there are, there are hints. You know, very clear hints. Um, so like that light there, that is actually an air jet to help you, help you move. Um, there we can see a golden, golden light marking that. Here, that's actually a small liar challenge, small liar reveal. Not not really a challenge, but that's there. I I mean, remembered what it was from before. Also, if they're not like hidden, they are in a spot like that. There are some sometimes they're hidden and placed next to a chest. Um, so I'm gonna try to reveal things. There is a range limit on this far side, but it you are still able to go th look through uh, things. Oh, and yes, you can do that to mark stuff. Um, and Unfortunately, none of these are completed, but uh, if they were, you could hit F to, to hide them and then reveal them. When you get a lot, it's very helpful to do that. Um, but what else is... What, what other news is there to talk about this? Um, yeah, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla review went live. I'm so glad about that. I mean, just, it was 128 hours. I finally finished that. It's like, yes, now I can get back to the projects that have been waiting for me for so long, and then I got the key for this. Uh, um, 47 hours, by the way, to basically do as near to 100% completion as I could, which is how I prefer to play, um, and actually, you know, beat Typhon, you know, re reach the end of the game. Um, then, you know, there's this, there's New Game Plus, so you do get more time, and it's... The thing I don't know about is if there's much value to this, like, okay, yeah, all the enemies will probably be scaled to my level, That that's fine. But I don't know if it's like there's any gear or something that's limited to uh, New Game Plus. I, I'm just unaware. So that's a night chest. If I'm there at night, then there's a bunch of enemies and that chest there. Once I kill all the enemies, I, I get the, I'm able to get the chest. This is a conflict chest or guarded chest. We go there, you have to beat the enemies and it unlocks. That's just an epic chest, so it has you know, a piece of gear. Which, actually, that could be worth checking out. Um, just because I, I I know I already have that chest. Oh, see, there's a completed one, so... Yeah, um, yeah that is my ultimate destination, though. And I think I will try to get there. Um, okay, now I'm just trying to think. What, what all is there? talk about in the news. One thing, I mean, it stands in my mind, but there's plenty of other things to talk about. Um, so the uh, new Radeon GPUs, the 6000, the RX 6000 series, at least the 6800. Um, a lot of people like the new reference design, but as is normally the case, uh, the reference design was going to cease production. But uh, because it is so popular, and it is at it is also quite good. Um, at least that is my understanding. Yes, Adam board partners have better design. Um, but it still is good enough 
uh, that a lot of people want that and apparently they kind of, you know, uh, consumer pressured AMD a little bit. Uh, Scott Herkelman, who is, I think CVP is corporate vice president. I just put in C CVP and GM for AMD Ray, and that's how he, he credits himself on Twitter, which is also why he said that they've decided to extend the production of the reference design indefinitely. Um, so that will be helpful for that, by the way, is, uh, at a main team. I would go there, break that, and then I get it and I can use it for upgrade. Um, that's why it's a common resource. That's why you don't, um, but yeah, so that, that's actually pretty cool. Um, especially for someone like me, because I would like the reference design because it's like, yeah, the, 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 um, atom boards, you know, are going to be better and all that. But it's like, well, with the reference design, I um, didn't think the range was that good. Um, it's like, so long as I'm using that and collecting data on it, it should be very representative in that there should be none that perform worse. So, yeah. So long as there's none that perform worse, then that data is, is valuable as that. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see what I'm ultimately able to get. Yeah. So yes, there is a Chimera, but y you get to be very overpowered. Although I was, yes, just hanging out in his, in his attack for a while. I, I have been playing this as a right now. He does seem like he might be a little tougher than normal. Because I don't think it takes that much... Oh, well. You get, um... Come on, come on, let me move, let me move. Yeah, one thing that does... suck. I mean, it, it does. It is... It, controlling enemies is basically non-existent. I mean, you can do some things, but it's not that much, which is quite annoying. Um, there are, because you see how you got the hit counter there? It's currently at 12. Um, there are other game, and, and as you build that up, you will start doing more damage and stuff like that. Um, there are games I can remember, yeah, that being in there, and I would typically also say that for those games, um, they, uh, you know, it's like you, you could control the flow of fight. I, I do not feel that in this game. That, that's part of what I mean by it's not that impressive. I mean, yes, I can be very powerful. That specific attack I was using, a special one that uh, brought the spears up from the ground, is overpowered because, like, two hits of that will stun almost anything. And when stunned, then, you know, you're free to just weigh on them. Um, <clears throat> but it, it, it's it really I, I never felt like I could control the flow of the fight like there, there's some of those games you can be in the literally surrounded it's like that's fine because that means as I move around I will be able to hit any of these enemies <clears throat> you know, it's like I can control and manipulate the flow well enough that that is not a problem for me. Never felt that way in this game. Always felt like I wanted to... I... I is... Okay. Always felt like I, if I could have them all in front of me, that would be best. That would be safest. Um... And part of it is because there's some silly things. Um... And it's going to be kind of hard to explain some of that in writing, but... Oh, um... Okay. Is there something in here for it? 
Yep. Oh, come on. Really? That's one thing. I can wait it down uh, uh, with an ability. I just need to find something else. Like, yeah, I'll just see ability. Something you get once you get phosphor is you can summon in a clone to yourself. Well, I you might need to unlock that ability. But I don't think that's what I gave for. Um, could be wrong on that. I just meant to get rid of it, but I forgot you would actually like need to put. Um. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about before: the reference design, the AMD board, the AMD uh, graphics cards. There's a few advantages to them continuing to do that. One is that means that water blocks that are designed for the reference board, you'll be able to continue to find. Uh, the reference you'll be able to continue to get those reference boards to use with those blocks. Um, so that is definitely a positive for those that do custom loops. Um, something else that's possible? We'll have to see how it works out. I actually should not have done this this way. But anyway, um, is that potentially we will see, um, Yeah, so I, I, I cannot manage being in there, because they're just able to attack me from all around, and there's nothing you can do about that, Billy. It, it's, you have to run away. You have to control your positioning in that way. You can't just um, you know, take them all on like that. Also... Uh, yeah. C come on. <laughs> you also will find that the, um, uh, movement kind of sucks too, because... So here, let, let, me, let me show you. Alright, in here, we got this. Sword launcher where you hold down and throws you up, throws up the enemy and also throws you up. I hate that ability. I want to be able to turn that off. I can't, though. It's like, the, the but I have to have it because otherwise I couldn't get to the masteries. It's like... I hate it, because when you are in the air, you're going to take damage. That That is the simplest way to put it. Because you have so little control over your positioning then, you, 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 you're you stuck. Okay, I wasn't sure that it, it The only reason I was doing that was because it would get through his sheet. It is also knowing that it, it seems to mainly have be with the purple enemies. It never seemed that bad before. Um, and also, I, it didn't let me dodge through his shield, even though I think that not exactly inappropriate. Um, but dodging went to like crap once they got to purple enemies, where it really felt like with some of them, the dodge window is much, much smaller than it should be. And I definitely feel like the bears, they're, um... See, I've already done that. I'm actually wearing that armor. Well, the, the cosmetic armor is that. Um, so I'm kind of wondering what will happen with that. Yeah, what I'm actually using this armor uh, because it's health on hit, but you can customization and basically use the uh the visual for any other armor that you have which is kind of it's kind of yeah movement is still though it, it it's part of the whole it's not that impressive 
And like you take a game like say when the Batman Arkham game. The flow control, the uh, combat flow control is so good in those. At least that's my memory. It has been years since I've played one of those. Um, and similar situation for um, ah oh, crap, and I had it just just in my, the Middle Earth Shadow of games, Mortal or War. Again, it it's the control, the flow control in combat, and that is so nice. It works so well. And yet in this, it's like, nope, just, nope, not going to happen. That That is how it feels. Oh, wrong thing. Instead of using the health potions, you can eat the pomegranates directly. Because um, you will, depending on your difficulty, refill one chunk in your health bar. So if you just, instead of wasting a potion, which you make from pomegranate, you just eat them by holding down one or two. One for pomegranates, two for the mushrooms that give you stamina back. It... it dang, man, just wrong on that. Um, it'll get you uh, a smaller bit there. So it doesn't feel as wasteful to me. Especially when it's literally you have one health missing. Alright. Um... Normally you would encounter somebody that turns out to be Hermes. I don't think that's really a spoiler. Deal with it. I mean, you do find out pretty quick. Um, and from that, you would head over to the Hall of the Gods. I guess for the New Game Plus, they don't bother with revealing him in that way. Um, fine with me. So I'm just going to get over here, climb up, and head over to Hall of the Gods. Oh, and I keep getting distracted. Ah, I'm sorry. Going back to the radar thing with the reference boards. Okay, I mentioned the water cooling thing. Another possible advantage, but it won't really matter until, like, supply is better. Um, that I've seen some people point out is the reference design should stick to MSRP pretty well. So some of the atom board designs that are uh, listed... Yes, they are listed, if not available. Um, those, some of them are quite a bit more expensive than the MSRP. Which hopefully that is just... Hopefully it that is just uh, the partners taking advantage of the fact that... Yeah, the supply is so low, and these are special products. We're going to charge more so that you know we can make more. And it is also the whole... A higher price deters sales in a way that can be useful. I mean, it's, it's a weird thing, but it's basically you want to price things that you don't have a lot of higher because hopefully then it, more people will be willing to wait. It, it, it gets weird. Economic stuff like that and game theory stuff like that, that does it kind of... Um, oh, this is my mount. I have many mounts. Um... We, they also have stamina bars. The earlier ones you'll get will be one. Uh, you'll find some that are two. This guy I found, I also found a unicorn, but from a mission I got um, a pegasus. So a winged one. And the unicorn, this, and the pegasus all have uh, the three bars, which is definitely... And you can swap between these very freely. Um, wrong one. Inventory, it's right here. So see, there's that one. Oh yeah, this one is like free from just the Ubisoft Connect store, you know, like you, you play basically. Um, or at least it was, it was for me. I, I don't, I'm not sure if it is for others. Sorry. Um, but there's the Pegasus, there's Unicorn. Yeah. Well, the store. Um. So yeah, so this one, the Orion Blessed Weapons Pack. Um. That one was free. I don't know if that's a it's part of the season pass free. Okay, and here, here's where that one is, Abyss. But these were all free. Um not Huh. Let's I mean, I'll add it, but... Actually, no, I'll wait a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, so some of that stuff is free. Some of the stuff you have to use the Uplay or Ubisoft Connect credits, whatever they are, to, to get the... He is it Helix? Is that what it is? Anyway. To my knowledge, though, those are... I, well, at least my hope is that those are all cosmetic. If we look here... Um, see, there's the... That Starlight Sword. Notice it's only under the visuals. only under the cosmetics. It's not in here. Um... Yeah, so I dodged that, and that should have triggered the perfect dodge thing, where it's time slows down. That time I didn't dodge it. Come on, try again. Too early for a perfect dodge there, but... That time, that should have been a perfect dodge. So yeah, I, I do not know. I Maybe it's some weird bug, or it is that the, uh, for purple enemies, the perfect dodge window has shrunk, and it is so annoying. Because that would also be one of those things, especially because of the time slowdown, that'd be very helpful for the flow control. But it, it just it's there. Alright, um, let's get up there. I'm just trying to think of anything else. Uh, yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 released. I do not have a copy. Um, I never heard back when I asked, because I was able to get a key for Witcher 3 when that came out all those years ago. And I tried asking, you know, what is the method for requesting a key for Cyberpunk 2077. I never heard back, though, because I wasn't sure if it may have changed. Oh yeah, that's right, I am on a higher difficulty. That's why they're tougher. I forgot. I played at normal, this is hard. But yeah, Ares Wrath is named that ability, and it is so overpowered. It also does something else, though, that is annoying to me. So you see how it launches you up? There are vault challenges where you're dependent on that for getting around. And that annoys me so much because it is so awkward. And it's also you're not taught that. At least the first vault I ran into, in order to get the, the chest in it, you needed to, to do that. But it's not taught to you. And it's like... I'm sorry, I'm not going to think of that, because I tend not to use abilities. And it's... I, I would see that as it's an offensive ability. I wouldn't be thinking that, oh, it's a traversal ability. So, yeah, there, there's... Not impressive. Like, if that stuff were better communicated, I'd be happy. Um, there's also the dash, Athena's dash. Which, again, ends up being... <laughs> yeah. I found that to really only be useful for for traversal. It's it's not that useful as an attack. Festus's hammer, though, that seems how you swing a giant hammer. That one makes some sense for for how it can be used. Um, but anyway, going back to the Cyberpunk 2077 thing. Yeah, I just never heard back, so it's yeah. But to be honest, I'm also kind of happy I didn't get a key because. Well, I think I saw the prediction was 170 hours to complete that. Fall Hollow is 128 hours. I still feel like I'm recovering from that. I don't need 170 hours, right? Now. Um, I do. I do want to get it though, so I probably will do that eventually. I don't know if I'll necessarily review it at that time. We'll see what how things play out. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it was weird that I never heard back, and it's like I didn't know if the method used for the Witcher requesting Witcher 3 was still accurate. And that, that's what I was asking. Is that still it or has it changed? Never heard from it. It's a little bit of story here. The 
sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is... incredible! It's all right. Could use some updating. The Golem motif is a bit played out. So... we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye, to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered, until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn this life called God to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost... So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck! I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Th 
thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix Thick. What would my brother do? Megiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly, like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. Megiron is her brother, and as she just described there, he is this great hero having defeated a Spartan fleet. Um... Yeah. About all the... It's that, but we, we can look at stuff. Oh! Is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Um, I can agree. So it costs so much blue and purple. The armor costs blue and purple to upgrade. The weapons cost blue and red to upgrade. Uh, this is just yellow and that's just yellow. And here, you can perks list here, so as you can see, I mean, th this is, it goes up to 50%, uh, but the mastery levels push it up further. Um, but each weapon and each piece of gear has one or two. Well, they all have two, it's just one is unlocked all the time, two you need to get to level four on that on that slot. So once you get to four of the the chunks there, then you get access to that second perk. And once you uh, upgrade all the armor, in you know, the armor fully, once you upgrade the, the weapons fully, then you unlock the master. Pretty simple. Um, and it, it works fairly well. I'm comfortable with it. Um, and it is in you know, like you upgrade swords. You don't upgrade one specific sword. I think I was misspeaking at times. Confusing that a little. And you do get animations like this for the different things. And some of them are actually pretty funny. Actually, one thing I do have to give the game that is really neat is... And I don't think we really saw it. Did it open? How many chests did I open up? Was it one or two? I don't remember. But you do. there are actually multiple animations for that. And some of them are kind of funny. Um... This is where you can make potions, but also upgrade them. And you find multiple of nice these things hungry. throughout the world. Phoenix let the empty which is good, because if you need more potions, you don't need to come back here. Try to focus on potential potion recipes. Um... Just see, do I have... Oh, over there. No, we don't see them here, but I do know for a fact... Um, just want to clear the red marks. The, this is about where the statue, Athena's statue is, and right by it, like, you, the icons almost on top of each other, is one of these cauldrons. So you'll be able to make new potions there. Also upgrade. Upgrade them. So that is fully up. It takes 11 of the amber here to uh, upgrade the masteries. These all take different amounts. I don't remember what they are, but it increased a a as you went. And, you know, uh... Well, I'm pretty sure it's yellow, purple, blue, and... Well, the blue and red are obvious, but yeah, just those go into making those. And this is the animation for it. One of them. You do have multiple for these as well. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. 
I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices! Wow! I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Let me know if you're in the mud. Yes, yeah, so we got these. Uh, these heroic tasks that are just part of the game. Um, and as you can see, you know, reward. They do track um, without uh, having them selected. As you can see, I was able to complete multiple there. Um, but yeah. And then we also have these. Not sure where that is actually. These are the live tasks as as it says that. Alright. Do that. Got all these things. That's actually helpful. I'll be able to I'm pretty sure that's enough ambrosia for a mastery there. This is to change your appearance. I've not really messed with much. Although this is actually kind of disturbing. Oh! Is this where the gods get their dental exams? No. It's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Like I said, kind of disturbing. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman. An unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. I don't think I have enough points. No, because it's eight. This is where you train? Oh, gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Uh, oh, it takes three. Perfect. So, there. And we should get one of these animations. And there are multiple of these. Yes. And yes, they always end with Hermes also striking and pose behind you, even though he doesn't earn it. I'm here selling if you're buying. <sighs> ah, there's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then, enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. So, upgrading the health mastery gives you defense. Um, which it does, we do see that is diminishing return. Um, and this is the animation for this. Which it, this part doesn't change. It's this part that sometimes she does this, sometimes she just picks all the thing up and drinks out of it. Um... That's all I got. I'm tired, and I think I've covered enough, both of this game, and I know that there is more news I could talk about, but it's just... 
Uh, it, 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 it's been a crazy week, crazy day. 15 minutes, that's a lot longer than I thought I'd be going. Um, let me just quickly think what else. Devolver Digital announced a new game by declaring it the winner of 20, the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year Awards. Um, Loop Hero? It, it's in the, it's in the thing. And it's, like, I mean, so in other words, it's Devolver Digital making a, an announcement as Devolver Digital would. Um. I'm just looking through this. Is there anything else that's, like, oh, really worth mentioning? Uh, maybe the, maybe this. The Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake has been pushed back until March. Um. I also got the release date from Scott, for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, complete edition. Uh, that's Ubisoft stuff. I already talked about the... the reference card stuff. Um... Yeah, it, Desperado's 3, you know, I can stop the game. Um... Desperado's 3 now has a level editor light. Uh, Square Enix put out some uh, new trailers as part of the Game Awards, one for Near Replicant, the other for Outriders. Uh, Rebellion uh, for Zombie Armor 4 uh, released the second mission for the Death From Above campaign. Most game, Modus Games put out a trailer for Override 2 Super Mech League Career Mode. Mentioned that of all the digital already. And F1 2020 has had has gotten a free update adding the F2 2020 season. That, that's you know, basically all I got there. Um, and yes, I bunk came out this week. I do not have it. I don't know when I may purchase it. Um, and I don't know when I may play it. <laughs> but yeah, so that that's out. I'm sure going to continue to suck a lot of oxygen out of the room uh, for news for a bit. And certainly a lot of time out of people's days. Um, I, I hope it's, I hope it does prove to be good. Um, I, I think it's reasonable to believe it will be good. Very reasonable to believe, you know, CD Projekt Red is quite skilled at this. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to eventually playing it, and until then, I am avoiding all coverage of it that I can. Seriously, I don't want, don't tell me, don't tell me, I don't want to. Uh, that's probably enough of me talking, so I can stop, get lunch. There's an errand that needs to be run. And then I can get back to writing the review for this. Which, I mean, it, as I said, it's a fun game. I have enjoyed it. There are points of frustration with it. Some weird design choices, like one I actually forgot to mention. There are two different attacks that are mapped to Shift and LMB. It, it depends on when you release the Shift. It's like, wh why... Mentioned the flow control stuff, which it just altogether it felt like an act, another action adventure game set in an open world, so it did not impress me. But to be fair, you don't need a game to impress you; you just need to be fun, and it is that. Um, and with that, I'll stop talking. Uh, see you next time, probably. I I just. I just don't know because I have expected more work will manifest and maybe that'll make me so busy next week that I can't do a recording. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Uh, it's weird that way. See you then.